I want to find a solution to this recurrence relation which satisfies this initial condition. Now remember the way you do this is you look for a solution in the form a sub n equal r to the n. So we try a sub n equal r to the n and from the recurrence relation that says that r to the n plus 2 is equal to minus 6 times r to the n plus 5 times r to the n plus 1. So now I'll divide this equation by r to the n and that gives r squared is equal to minus 6 plus 5r. There are exactly two solutions to this quadratic equation. r equals to 2 and r equals to 3. So our solution to the uh, recurrence relation should be, this original recurrence relation, should be something of the form a sub n equals to a times 2 to the n plus b times 3 to the n. But I don't know what a and b are. That is where we use this condition. a sub 0 is equal to a plus b because that's what you get when you plug in 0 for n. a1 is equal to a times 2 plus b times 3 and that is supposed to equal 1 so I put a 1 there. So now you see I need to find a and b that satisfy these two equations. From the top equation b is equal to 1 minus a so then I'll take that description of b and place it right here where I see a b. See, like this. And now if I multiply this out I get 3 minus a is equal to 1 and therefore a is equal to 2. Well if a is equal to 2 then b is equal to negative 1. And so I put an, a 2 for a here and a negative 1 here and then a sub n is 2 to the n plus 1 minus 3 to the n. Now this is correct but it's always a good idea to check your work and see if it, if it works out like it's supposed to. If you put in n equal to 0 you'll get 2 here and here you will get 1 and 2 minus 1 is 1. Then you can also verify that if n is equal to 1 you get 4 minus 3 and that's also 1. So you see it satisfies the initial condition and then it's really a good idea to just go ahead and plug in and see that it satisfies the recurrence relation. But it will because that's the way we chose R.